position, but I have the seventh position, so anyway, just in case somebody has the same book, they can go to the same problem. It's problem uh, 1.31, and um, took me forever to figure this out, so uh, I'm trying to explain, like, like down to like the basics of why this problem is the way it is, and it relates to the acids and bases on numerous problems throughout this chapter. So um, it says, uh, to, without consulting the table 1.8, which is something that's already uh, made up uh, for us in the book, um, for acidity constants, um, they want you to try and predict what's a stronger acid or a stronger base or you know vice versa uh, without the table. So the way to do it without the table um, is to understand exactly what's going on. Uh, so A, which is a stronger acid, uh, this or this, and um, I'll just go ahead and write it on the whiteboard for you guys. So basically the way to think about it is what they're asking for is what's the stronger acid. So uh, just bear with me while I explain this. You got your periodic table. Uh, it's vaguely something like this. I'm just going to divide it up into sections. This is your F orbital, your D orbital, P orbital, S orbital. Hopefully you learned about orbitals already. So that could be like another video. Um, why the orbitals are the way they are and things like that. Why they are shaped the way they are um, and stuff like that. But that has to do with number of electrons and protons and all this other thing. So I'm just going to explain the acids and base stuff. So basically, um, in the problem, they're talking about um, oxygen and nitrogen being uh, the central atoms um, in the problem that you just saw. So oxygen is the most electronegative. I'm just going to use that as electronegative because of the space for the whiteboard. Um, and the most electronegative um, central atom uh, has the strongest affinity, which means attraction attraction to keep its molecules close or electrons To the central atom, okay? So, uh, therefore, it's least likely to give up its hydrogen ion. And the thing that <laughs> I hate in the book, and it happens in general chemistry too, is that the hydrogen ion is um, um, referred to as a proton. And the reason why they per refer to it as just a proton is because um, it's positively charged, and for it to be positively charged, it gave it to, uh, up its electron. And since an element like uh, hydrogen, um, for example, has a proton, positive, neutron, and all these could be, possibly, where an electron is chilled. So uh, there's a whole theory behind that and stuff. It's not like an actual orbital like they, they teach you at first. So um, this is where it's most probable. So it could be anywhere at the same time, but basically through different like um, bonds and stuff like that, you can't, you're can you sharing this electron. And through sharing this electron or giving it up in the acid-base view, uh, you're just left with a proton. And that's why it's called a proton donor or proton acceptor because they're talking about the hydrogen ion. All right? So, uh, given that, um, 
the circle, just for everybody knows, it's it's an S orbital. I'm sure everybody knows that if you're at this point watching this video anyway. Uh, and um, a quick, like, sweet graph or like whatever you want to say uh, diagram to do this is basically um, acidity. Okay, so a strong acid is the most electronegative. This is very important. All right, and also a strong acid is a weak base. And since these are equal, Strong acid is also the weakest base. This is also the most electronegative. And it's exactly the opposite on the other side. A weak acid is the least electronegative. Sorry. Which is the strong base. Okay, so the question is, which one is the strongest base? And I'm going to try and hurry up here. So we got stronger base. Um, and it's this right here. This is what's in the book. You got your N. Asking, is this one a stronger base? Or is this one a stronger base? Now, a stronger base, you're going to say, oh, okay, well, since an acid is has the highest affinity to keep its uh, pro, uh, electrons closest to its central atom which is the definition of electronegativity. So the stronger base, you're going to go over here, a strongest, stronger base is the least electronegative. So the least electronegative is the weakest acid also. So a stronger base is the least electronegative. So you go on your periodic table here, and the trend is this right here. Increasing in electronegativity. Electronegativity increases towards the top of your periodic table. Oxygen, nitrogen. This is 3.5 and I'm pretty sure that this is 3. So this right here, the central atom here, this is the other central atom. Which one's the stronger base? So you go, okay, which one's the least electronegative? All right, well, according to this chart, nitrogen is the least electronegative, so it's the stronger base. So you would circle this guy. And the other one in the problem is this right here. And which one is the stronger acid? So the strongest acid is the most electronegative. The most electronegative, according to the chart up top, is oxygen. So you would, in fact, circle this one. All right. Any comments?